Hello guys and welcome back to a new video, the new Hyundai Tucson N-Line 2019 model. It's right here with me and I'm really happy to review it for you. I will try to show you um, the interior, exterior and every single detail uh, on this new Hyundai Tucson N-Line 2019. So let's start with a few information about the engine. 1.6 TGDI, four-wheel drive, N-Line 177 horsepower here are all the information that you need you can even um, sp stop the video and read it if you are interested in all that um, option that are on the car the consumption around 7.6 liter uh, euro 6 the new uh, emission uh, that are right now um, the newest engine that are on the market also we have black rims uh, this N-Line model come with black rims, also Continental Sport. We have right here the rims, 19 inch uh, are the wheels. So they, they fit very nice with the car. And also I like the fact that Hyundai add on this to some these plastic uh, edges here on the, uh, on the car to protect the car from uh, scratches from uh, dust and from stones on the street they are very 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 good and very practical you can change it very easy and if you look you can see that it's all over around the car those plastic uh, protection um, things so here we have the keyless entrance in the car so um, as the previous model as you know already we have the blind spot on the mirror you can see there in the right corner uh, and also LED light on the on the blinkers here something very interesting on the car we have 360 degrees camera so the car have camera on the mirrors also another LED to to illuminate the floor in the night around the edges of the of the windows we have just normal rubber so no chrome or something like that it's just normal like on the classic on the cars also in the back the new design uh, LED light and then all this plastic that come here in the back uh, and two exhaust pipe that they look very nice uh, they passed very good on the car and I like also this gray black gray diffuser down there um, that make the car look much more sportier I was impressed to see that the car have only four parking sensors in the back usually bigger car like that have six parking sensors but Hyundai Tucson uh, this model have only four we have back camera right there and normal bulb light on the number plate. Um, I'm quite impressed that they don't put um, LED light on the number plate. I don't know sure why. Maybe because in some countries it's not legal to have LED lights on the number plate. Uh, LED light in the back. Also the brake light are LED up there. Uh, they look very nice. The design of the car is super nice. Also the price. It's great price for a big SUV like that and it's very practical. We will go inside and you will see it. I like also very much this spoiler up here. Look very nice and sporty with that black glossy. In my opinion, it looks very nice and uh, very sporty. Also on the roof, you can add some extra storage. and line logo on the other side as well here. Very, very, uh, very nice. And the front is my favorite on this car. The new LED lights, full LED lights here. You can see the daylight, it's uh, light on. And inside there we have the, uh, uh, the LED lights. Also down here LED, even the fog lamp, it's LED light and has a very beautiful design, this front bumper. In my opinion, the lines, the shapes uh, look fantastic, make the car much more stronger much more angrier and in the same time uh, very sportier. I like this chrome design here. It's kind of a chrome dark gray. I can say like that. They, they fit very nice with the car. Also front camera. The car have a front camera. Pretty awesome. I like that very much. Uh, that the car have 360 degrees camera. You can park it very easy. Um, and here we have the radar. The radar this time it's right here. For adaptive cruise control, emergency brake, and all that technology, uh, right here down on the on the bumper. So 
Um, I really like the front of the car. I don't know what you think about the front of the car, guys. In my opinion, it's very nice. Also, the hood look nice. There we have the camera. You can see right here we have the camera for lane assist and uh, and the reading for the traffic uh, signs and the speed limit. It's quite cool that feature. Uh, you have you must have it on the car. It's super cool to see there the, the speed limit. Now uh, the trunk is automatic as expected. So we have automatic lift gate here and. I'm quite impressed that the trunk is really big. It's quite big trunk. They do a great job with the trunk. You can see here some plastic at the entrance. We have like 5, 10 centimeters there. Deepness. Here in the left side we have some space, 12 volt port, some hooks and the light. Also under here we have some storage space. Uh, quite useful and also on the right side as well. Hook, uh, the speakers right here. And um, yeah, the trunk is quite big. You can see for yourself. Also, you have this protection for the trunk here that you can pull it over or take it out, depend uh, what you want to carry. Under here, we have some extra storage. And what is cool, I want to show you that this one, you can take it out and you can position it the way you want it. So you can make it flat. If you need a flat floor here in the trunk, you can put it up. And right now you have a flat floor. How cool is that? And it's very easy to, to carry stuff. And down here you have still a lot of space to put your things. And under this, what is impressive that under this you still have some small place where you can put your things, uh, small things there. Quite impressive with the trunk. So it's very practical. Uh, I see it before. I review it before. Uh, from some of you that already see uh, my reviews with uh, Hyundai Tucson, uh, you see that it's very practical. Also, you will see when you fold down the seat, they go all over flat. Let's go on the other side and do the other seat as well. So that's folding down. You have to pull that. It's very easy to fold it down. And now you can see it's a huge space here in the interior. A lot of space to carry many stuff. So no problem at all uh, with the space in this Tucson. Even down here on the legs, you have huge, huge space where you can put your stuff. And uh, it's quite impressive uh, how many things you can you can you can take with this uh, uh, in this Tucson. So uh, quite amazing. You can take mobile and all that stuff. Closing the trunk very easy. Just press the button and the trunk will be closed and then let's go inside to show you the rest of the car I like also the, the ergonomy of the of the seats they are very nice uh, as you know you have many positions so you can even leave it so straight if you have big items in the in the back or you can pull it and push it in the back so you, you have to use two hands here it's kind of complicated for me to use just one hand but um, you have to pull it and push it and you see that the, the seats have a nice position uh, relaxing position also the entrance in the car it's big uh, so no problem with that at all let's fold back this seat as well it's very easy but i really need two hands here it's not so easy when i have the camera on other hand so let me pull it with two hands and now push it back so you see the position it's very comfortable there you have plenty of space in the back uh, on your legs as well we will go now and I'll show you I like the step there in the middle it's very small here we have the vents and down there we have a USB port very useful these days and uh, of course behind the front seats we have plastic and some storage space uh, to protect the seat I like the fact that the window is big in the back, it's from one pieces, so you have great visibility. Also up here we have kind of um, soft material, so you can see this, I think it's kind of a, a rubber or something like that, but it's soft and nice. Also handle, it's in gray, here we have some plastic, and here we have soft material, I think it's leather. Also a heated seat, the button for the windows, 
and the Creel speakers are fantastic. Uh, in the, the sound in the car, it's pretty awesome. So uh, this is the door in the back, pretty simple, nothing super fancy. Tucson, Tucson, or the way you want to call it, uh, at the entrance here. And those seats are one of the best, as you know, Hyundai make one of the best seats on the market and I love them. Uh, I have to tell you, I drive with uh, a lot of Hyundai's car and they make fantastic seats, great quality, uh, nice leather. Here we have even the N from N-Line logo, soft material in the middle and also center armrest with two cup holders in the middle and leather. Um, quite amazing, nice seats. So they are also soft for long trips, they are very comfortable. Up there we have this beautiful sunroof that look fantastic and you have so much light coming in the car and you feel so much uh, free, it gives you a nice, nice feeling and nice comfort being inside this car. A lot of space on my legs, on my knees right here, a lot of space on my on my legs down there, uh, no complaining at all about the space, it's a good comfort position. Even on my head, I have a lot of space, uh, no problem with the space on my head, you can see it for yourself, so I'm sitting here uh, without any problem, so very comfortable, even the visibility on the windows is quite good, so I see perfectly on the windows uh, in the back, so no complaining good comfort, great visibility. Even up here I have a handle and a hook uh, and an LED light here on the roof. Also another, another hook there. We will go in the front and I will show you also the dashboard. You can see even the seats are in the normal position in the front there. So if you ask me, I like the fact that I can stay with my legs together here in the back so I can I can stay here and all the free people in the back, they can stay with the legs very relaxing. So even so, I have plenty of space on my legs. The seats in the front are in good position, normal position for, for four people or five people. Even up here, huge space on my head. Great, great practicality, great comfort. Left, right, I can almost, almost stretch my legs, my hand there. So it's almost... Uh, it's almost perfect. So, also I have great visibility uh, up here on the roof, so it's quite great, quite good. Um, let's go in the front to show you also the dashboard and uh, uh, the layout in the front. It's pretty good and also a lot of great quality, uh, even though in the front there it's, it's much, much better than in the back. So, Great, great SUV. It's one of the one of the best price quality SUV on the market today. This uh, new Hyundai Tucson, big window, great visibility as well. Up here we have soft material on the door. Um, you can see here the, the trimming there. Also the handle in gray. We have a speaker up here, a small speaker, some plastic. Then we have these those buttons. They feel very nice as you touch it. Also some leather and Creel speaker again, the big speaker in the front and some storage space right here in the door. Also a light reflector, red light reflector, uh, Tucson logo at the entrance in the car and then um, some plastic, this plastic down here protect the, the body of the car. That is very important. And then we have the electric seats position right here. Uh, I like that. I like that it has this electric seat for the driver and also aluminum pedals. Also another extra for the car. Here is the fuse box and up here we have the blind spot sensors, also the lane assist and all that buttons uh, for different options. The seats are very nice. Also this leather, it's great quality. You can see it here in the image. We have side support. We have the end line logo right there. And again, this soft material in the middle, very comfortable for long trips. And they also look very nice. I like them. I like this combination of black with the red stitches, make the car look, uh, look very nice in my opinion. Also the vents, they feel very good as you touch it. 
if you good quality here we have kind of rubber on the dashboard all over the dashboard it's soft material we have a speaker in the middle there and going inside the car here we can adjust the steering wheel manually so uh, no big deal the steering wheel is very nice as well with red stitches leather we have some holes here on the side that make the steering wheel look much more fancy the normal buttons that you already see it uh, that you can control different function on the cockpit and on the multimedia system the cockpit it's, it's something that i wish was better i wish hyundai make a full digital cockpit like the new hyundai ionic or uh, hyundai uh, yeah ionic hybrid for example uh, we have the star stop button here as well uh, it looked very nice with that blue around there the background the color of the car in the night it's blue uh, I think you already see it, you can see it here for a little bit. The layout of the car, it's quite nice. Also, we have the multimedia system. I think you already see it before in my other videos. If you want to see the full review with the multimedia system, you can check it out on my channel. I have a full review with it. Here in the middle, also beautiful leather with red stitches. A lot of space here in the middle. I like this space, it's pretty good, pretty big for many, many things. And then I like the layout. Also on the center console, uh, electric handbrake, driving mode, auto hold, camera, and also parking sensors there. We have the stick for automatic gear shifter and stick that look nice, leather combination with some chrome up here. It looks very nice. And then a lot of space here for your phone. We have a 12 volt port, you can even charge your phone there. We have USB port, auxiliar and all that stuff, very useful, electric seats, electric uh, steering wheel, uh, the climatic system, you already know it from my previous videos, and also the vents, uh, they, are, they feel great as you touch it, and the, the leather around there, it's, it's nice quality and they feel good all over the dashboard to the right side, right there, and then in the glow box we have plenty of space. Uh, you can see here and we have a normal bulb light so uh, if you want to see the multimedia system I didn't go in this video uh, to show the multimedia system because it's the old model uh, if you want to see the new model you can see it in the other videos from Hyundai Ionic it's the new multimedia system or if you want to see the old one you can check out on my channel I have a full review with the Hyundai multimedia system or the other Hyundai Tucson review there I have made uh, all the review with the multimedia system also the visibility it's it's great on the windows you can see from here great visibility even so the car have 360 degrees camera so you don't have to worry about the visibility so uh, I like the I like this car very much I like all that feature on the car and the price it's great uh, even this beautiful sunroof it's fantastic and uh, plenty of great great quality i will show you the engine and then i will close the video i hope um, i hope it was helpful for you guys i hope you enjoyed it please comment and send me your feedbacks I, I love to hear your feedbacks i read all the message and i respond to all of you uh, also if you're new on my channel please subscribe to my channel uh, it's mean a lot for me share it like it and uh, check out my other videos. I have plenty, plenty of new videos every week with new cars. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, thank you very much for watching, uh, guys. And I wait you soon in the next video. So uh, bye, guys. Drive safe, stay safe, and see you soon.